I am admittedly torn about this video. On one hand, to me it comes off as very exploitative, grifty, overly edgy, and stupid. And that's coming from me of all people, and if you remember the years and years of content I uploaded to this channel, you'll know that statement does carry a bit of weight behind it. Yet on the other hand, I recognize it does possess a degree of serviceable utility for the long run because it opens up a conversation to a wider audience than ever before about child exploitative content being proliferated for at least 13 years on this platform and the higher echelons of administrative and moderative powers at YouTube doing utterly nothing to quell this issue. It's just that it's all wrapped up in a very grifty package that leaves a sour taste in my mouth. And one of the things, first and foremost, out of the gate that really left that taste just sitting there like a fucking Budweiser fermenting out in the sun for two days was it opens with the perspective of you're either against us or with us on a subject like this dude fuck you that's bullshit and you know that's bullshit you can critique the potential motivations of the content creator and why they want to put this kind of a thing out there without supporting pedophiles you're trying to establish that as the argumentative status quo right out of the gates and it's bullshit it's absolutely bullshit. It's essentially trying to protect yourself from people that are overly analytical about these kind of things, like myself and many other people out there, and that's been done over and over and over about a fucking cornucopia of subjects, and I've seen it myself, and instead of being a shield from critique, it's like a shield made out of tinfoil being slashed apart by a battle axe. It's not going to fucking hold up. It makes you look fucking stupid, it just dents the fuck out of your credibility, and it makes people immediately go cultivate a mob mentality, a witch hunt mentality, especially when you're throwing accusations at the wall with very little basis behind some of them in some cases here. This is one of the main things I really don't like about the current state of the true crime community on YouTube, and there are many true crime YouTubers that were featured in cameos throughout this thing, so it's not like once it started to go down that road, when it got to that point, I was really all that surprised. I mean, these are people who make videos where if you go in the comment sections on the video and say I don't support what this evil bastard did, but I can recognize that there were pre-aggravating factors that may have led things to this point, you get torch and pitchfork wielding idiot after torch and pitchfork wielding idiot coming at you like, well I guess you just support murderers then. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? It's too... To actually engage with that kind of mentality really set me back about uh, back about this video. So I have to just I have to just be okay with the fact that in the long run it's opening up a discussion. It, it itself is a grifty piece of shit, and it's like everything this fucking dude makes is exactly the same as, as well. It's like what Gen Z thinks horror movies are or something. It's just way too edgy cringe, and that's coming from somebody whose whole personality, at least to some people out there, is edgy cringe. I mean, come the fuck on. I mean... I get it. I get it. You know, this is just what the kids, I guess, these days think is fucking cool or whatever. <laughs> Good Lord. And I thought I grew up in peak hot topic generation, but I guess I fucking really didn't. But the credibility of this is in the toilet, mainly from the presentation to me. I mean, Jesus Christ. And then the argument, too, to say, like, oh, you can't see past that. I was like, well, not fucking really. I mean, it comes off as stupid and goofy. You're talking about a subject already dark as fuck. You're literally talking about a subject where it's like child trafficking and, and, and predative child exploitation. I mean, this shit is rampant on YouTube. But a couple of years ago, I went down this rabbit hole of accidentally discovering a channel where this dude was taking videos of his kids in the bathtub. But it was like every single video was the same fucking video. And then it was linking to channels that were the exact same same kind of content. All these channels were like somewhere out of Eastern Europe, I'm assuming because of the, the, the title, the way the videos were named, because they all look like they were acrylic it was out of somewhere in Russia. It's like, you know that this isn't something as innocent as just home movies with their family. You know that this is servicing a very specific market. You know, this kind of shit's everywhere. And it's like YouTube doesn't really do anything about it. But then you also have to think, like, well, what would we have YouTube do? I mean, they were already designing 
a artificially intelligent, mathematically al based algorithms that are designed to filter content like this. And some of these videos are being created in such a specific way that they can kind of go around whatever parameters that those algorithms are designed to filtrate. And it's like you're asking YouTube, who's already doing a lot, because it's not like they want people to upload videos of people fucking kids. It's not like it's run by fucking Ghislaine Maxwell or anything. It's like my problem is there's no solutions that any of these people ever come to. You know, it's like we got to do something. It's like, yeah, but what? <laughs> so then that's where I got to think that this might be just a giant grift for some people because it's like they know they don't have a solution. They know they don't really have anything real to offer, but they know that, hey, the spotlight's on me. The attention's coming the fuck in. I mean, these motherfuckers are always trying to sell a product before a lot of videos of people like this. They're always trying to shill some sponsorship. We're age shadow legends. Or for this kind of content, it's hunt a killer. Here, play this fucking board game. It's like, I don't care to fucking be here for a board game. I, like, summarily skip by all your ads. Or when I can, I can apply, like, uh, ad block. Because it's like, I'm not going to fucking give you a little bit of coin to go throw money, you know, throw product in my face while you talk about somebody's fucking murder case or some real horrible fucking FBI fucking investigation into some child trafficking shit or whatever. Like, what the fuck? Jesus Christ, get a fucking real job. Stop trying to make a fucking goddamn economic empire off fucking tragedy and horror. Real horror. Sorry, but I mean, my little spurg out is over. It's just so disingenuous to me. So I have to just have faith that in the long run, something like this is a catalyst to a much more credible, larger conversation. And that's why I'm torn about this being something useful. Like, it is, it is, and it isn't. But, you know, I guess, I guess I'm just, I guess I'm just a fan of pedophiles, guys. I guess I just like people like Jeffrey Epstein. I guess I just like Ghislaine Maxwell, free Ghislaine. Ghislaine didn't, <laughs> Ghislaine did nothing wrong. Fuckers, Jesus Christ, the disingenuous fucking shit. The disingenuous shit. And it really, too, is, is once you realize, you know, the argument can be made, well, you know, how can I be disingenuous about it? I made all this content and dedicated all this time. Dude, motherfuckers have dedicated all kinds of time to things they didn't believe in. They didn't believe it. I gave it up when I realized that YouTube would do nothing about any of this kind of shit. I did this for like a decade at some odd years. It doesn't give a shit. It concesses to its high-level sponsors, like major corporations and shit, who have their high executive levels are probably loaded with people like that. I mean, <laughs> we know for a fact that people at that level get into these horrible things because these are like forbidden fruits for them they enjoy engaging in or whatever these fucking weird elites do. It's not even a conspiracy theory anymore. It's like commonly accepted. That's like, this is what billionaires fucking do because they can do anything except for the things you can't do and you shouldn't ever fucking do. For them, it's like some energizing, weird pastime, like fucking forbidden fruit shit. It's not even a conspiracy theory anymore. But what would you do about even that? Are you going to topple like some of the most powerful structures that we fucking have? Like, fuck me. No solutions. It just comes off as a fucking giant grift. And the only utility to me it serves is that in the long run, it opens up the conversation enough for people of any credibility to start discussing it. And we can progress from there. But I guess I'm a fucking child fucker because that's my take. You fucking asshole.